my YouTube channel. I'm a 53-year-old woman from Rochester in Medway, Kent. Um, it's a lovely sunny day today, the sun's out. Um, yeah, I've got up this morning and I feel okay. Um, Max is stretching, the two cats have been fed and yeah, it's, it looks like it's going to be a lovely day. So, Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 7.54 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Monday the 30th of yeah. May. And Alexa, the weather? In Rochester, it's 9 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect showers with a high of 15 degrees and a low of 8 degrees. So it looks like we may have some showers again. It, it came down quite nasty yesterday. I, I went to, when I went out to the co-op and to get uh, hot chocolate, it was, it had been like the showers had been coming down quite badly. Um, right. So last night. After the hot chocolate, I took Max out for a walk. I was wearing my green raincoat because it was on and off splashing with rain, and that's what you do, isn't it? You've got you, when it's hot weather, but you're getting showers. You put a light mac on a light raincoat. So I wore a green raincoat. Just recently, there's been a, la a lad covering his head with a grey hoodie. And um, he's been wearing sunglasses and walking along the Rochester Riverside when I go out in the morning. It's a young bloke, you know, just wandering about with a grey hoodie over his head and a pair of jeans. Um, yeah, I've got jeans. I wear jeans. I like, I, you know, I've got a light pair, summer pair, um, that I got from the ladies' section in Primark. Um, Last night there was a couple uh, by the co-op. Um, it was a really large, very bright, bubbly lady with purple in her hair and glasses in a red and white stripy dress talking to what looked like um, a double of Pavarotti. So there were two large people by the co-op chatting with each other. So he had a, a bald head like Prince William and he was talking to a large lady with a red and white dress and then she was she had a little dog so before she met the big man a blonde with a bun in her hair went into a car with a baby crying eh, eh, eh. i walked around the rochester riverside and you know i just want to take max for a walk that's what you do when I um, visited my nan and granddad when they were with my uh, a relative called Nance and uh, my granddad walked Chippy the dog, a black and white collie dog and I was a little girl staying with my granddad and my nan in Plumstead while they were house sitting for summer day. There was a dog called Chippy and me and my granddad used to walk on the Plumstead Common and you know the same thing goes repeats itself on and on on and on my nan and granddad used to get trouble with neighbors dogs used to bark continuously my nan had a really bad leg it, she also had a breast removed um she had a mastectomy my my nan did she was a very strong resilient woman and um, she got treated like crap but she still carried on with a bad leg and one of her breasts missing she didn't take any notice of it i get told don't take any notice of it don't be prompted you know don't let what they're doing upset your day but it's very very difficult when somebody is making rude noises and laughing at you I, when i got out to the taxi yesterday morning there was a man laughing out of the window you know like something's extremely funny um, you know, if you want to laugh when I'm getting in a taxi, I don't really mind. It's better than a dog barking, I can assure you. So I went for a walk, you know, trying to cheer myself up as you do. It's the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. There's a street 
party down Corey's Road. I want to join in. I don't want to be stuck indoors. My mum doesn't believe in royalty. Jennifer doesn't. Um, I don't know if anybody's doing anything at Soul Gardens, but she says she's not going into it and she's not joined, joining in with it. She's just going to sit indoors. This year, I wanted to go and see what's going on at the street party. They're serving pims, people are bringing food, there's balloon modelling, and I want to join in. I, I, I don't want to be stuck indoors being miserable just for one day. But my mum does not like royalty, and that's her opinion. I can't cast judgments on anybody until I have met somebody. Although other people do, if someone spreads a rumour, either online or outside, people believe it, and half the time it's not true. But that's the way some people are, they believe things that are spread about. And why do people spread rumours? To destroy someone's reputation. You know, and that's exactly what someone's trying to do to me. Spread rumours that I'm a bloke. I got called lady boy, would you believe, yesterday. A lady boy. Um, there's been close-ups of my body, and anyone can see that I'm not a lady boy. Um, I mean, it's ridiculous and it's stupid, and, I, you know, you just have to let it wash over and ignore people that are doing this. Um, also, when someone is guilty of something and they want to put the blame on someone else, they will make people believe that you're them. You see, I'm not a lady boy, I'm not an old lady, I'm 53, I'm middle-aged, and, you know, when somebody tries to copy you, it's very, very flattering. So, you know, when people want to put replicas of my clothes on and stick a hood over their head, you know, I'm quite happy with that because copying is a form of flattery, right? Some people, uh, you know, that's flattering somebody. So if, if you want to dress like me, if you want to copy my face, you know, my glasses, and run around and be silly. I, I think that's a form of flattery. So if you want to copy, go ahead. The dog barking at the moment while I'm speaking. So I went around the field, quite happy, merrily, with people, you know, there was a couple on the field with a brown dog, a couple, um, I believe there was a lady in a, a blue top with a dog, a large lady. And, you know, you know, I just get along with my life, right? So I came back and where the lady with the Spaniel used to live, her sister died of coronavirus and they had to move out because it's a disabled flat downstairs. They've got two or three dogs down there. And sometimes I'm coming back from the field and the dog's doing a shit on the floor as I'm walking past their fence. Well, last night, it wasn't shitting, it was, the two dogs were barking quite ferociously at Max. You know, barking really, really loudly, and they were doing it for like two or three minutes. And then I went round the back into my flat. And sometimes, you know, it makes you jump out your skin. You're walking down and then someone's dog goes, Really, really. 
really, really bad it was. So I threw a bottle on the ceiling and it absolutely it burst all over my floor. No one should have to live stressed like that. I'm not going up there. I just let it carry on. I had an outburst for about five minutes and then I remembered that you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it all died down. And because I remember what happened in 2020 and 2021, you're, it's a stage show where everybody watches you stood on the balcony at the brink of desperation and you're crying and you're yelling and no one does anything. And I'm thinking, well, I don't want to go back like that again. So I let them stomp across the ceiling until it fizzled out and then I got on with the rest of my evening. Then I got a message from Leslie. And just because you're single and you've got no one, it doesn't mean you're gay. But some people think, oh, you know, to try and provoke someone into doing something bad, calling me names is going to help them. And it isn't. Because this is what happened to one of my sons. He was taken the mick out of, he was mixed with people that were drinking vodka and taking ecstasy and cocaine in, in a hostel for young men and women with problems. So he was introduced to ecstasy, vodka, and he ended up in hospital. Really killing himself to other people, giving him drugs and drinks. And they knew he had liver problems, and they still gave him vodka and fucking ecstasy tablets. So I'm very, very strong. People may not like me, they might think I'm a fuddy duddy, I'm boring, but you know, drugs and bottles of vodka can kill you, or at least do you serious harm, right? And you can call me all the names under the sun. You can fucking say I'm a lesbian, you can say I'm boring, but at least I'm not in a bloody hospital fighting for my life like my son was. Okay! You know, what other people do to themselves is their business. I'm in charge of my body, what goes into it, and what I do with it. And it's my responsibility. If someone offers me hard drugs or a bottle of drink, all you do is you say no. And when they say, go on, you're a pussy, you're boring, you say, yeah, I might be, but no thank you. And that's what I do. And do you know what my mum said to me the other night? My mum will, will say to me, I'll give you a call, Janestra, if you're not preoccupied, if you're not up to something, if you're not... No, I'm not! Number one, rules are for a reason, right? Things are illegal for a reason, right? If we all broke the law and we all didn't abide by rules, then, you know, <laughs> the world wouldn't be a very safe place, would it? Right? I mean, I, I watch p people smoke weed up and down the path, blow vape pipe smoke all over the place. I watch them doing these things to themselves. I can't stop them, but I can stop myself from doing it. Today, I'm just going to relax indoors and the sun's out but it's likely it's going to be showers, okay. Um, I know life can be boring but do you want to live a life, you know, where you're in control of yourself and your mind or you, do you want to let other people control you, bully you? and tell you what to do and make you into something you're not, alright? Because drugs take control of your mind, 